let me just say about this, what's come out this morning. This is a, uh, to be frank, in common parlance, people would call these, what the, the Tories have published today, lies, absolute lies. And I'm, I'm shocked the BBC has just taken a Conservative press release and has repeated it all morning. Well, yeah. we're just saying what they're well, saying me, and now, is, me, now we're allowing well, you to just, have a way back. That's how but, these things work. But you're it? the BBC. You have to have some form of at least analysis before you put something on there. In this tax, in their gap, they're saying now $45 billion, mm. They've included 35 billion of capital spend. You know as well as I do. I, I'm amazed the Chancellor's Exchequer can't dif- dis- distinguish between capital and revenue spend. You All know right. as well as I do, capital spend does not come out in terms of individual yeah. revenue spend. It's just the cost of okay, the bond. We've heard it loud and clear then that that, that that 45 billion, well, the 65 well, billion. Well, it's shoddy that the. Shoddy. I think it's shoddy that you the Tories have produced it. But also, right. I have to say, I think it's yeah. the it, BBC it, should have been critical before they run with headlines yeah. that they've got. Is it, is it, isn't the point that the. the more dangerous political point for you that if you have spokespeople who go on to broadcast outlets and aren't on top of the figures, that is what damages the credibility. Well, me, and that's what allow your this. opponents yeah. to say the well, things let that me they say, say. Let me just say this, and let me give this assurance to everyone. I'm the person who will determine... First of all, what the levels of expenditure on each item that will be committed to in the manifesto will be. And that will be as a result of independent advice. I'm drawing upon Treasury figures, the OBR figures, the Institute of Fiscal Studies. I'll be putting all, I'll put all those together. I'm the person who will be identified the funding source. And then when the final manifesto is drafted, we'll publish that in a way that the Conservatives and no other party so far has been able to do. And I will give this assurance. I'm a hard look. I've got a reputation for being a hard nosed bureaucrat, both in my professional life in the past and also politically. I give this assurance. Our policies, it is about the language of priorities. Our policies will be fully costed and the funding source will be identified. We'll ensure that those priorities are the priorities of the British people. And that is about having a fair tax system. And will we learn in your manifesto where the personal taxes are going to go up? Yes, of course you will. I said that to you last time. What we'll be saying... Well, I said, yeah, just to go back to that... (laughs) I I thought you would do. (laughs) (laughs) We had an interest. Look, let me get clear, Justin. But You you weren't weren't clear about taxes going up on the rich. You said the rich are 70 to 80,000. That was very clear. But what you didn't want to commit to is saying that they'll be paying more in personal tax. Justin, you're a scallywag. Let's go back to it. (laughs) The position I said is that when we publish our manifesto, we will make sure it's a fair taxation system. What does that mean? Making sure... First of all, we tackle tax evasion, tax avoidance, because this government has neglected that. Secondly, the fair taxation will be about ending the tax giveaways to the corporations and the very rich. And Mm. we will have a fair taxation system. And where I identify the need for any tax increases, I give this assurances, middle and low earners will be protected. Why don't you ask the Tories whether they'll match my assurance?